this is another crafty sausage video and today i am going to be showing you how to build a monorail anyway let's get started so we i am going to be building this on a track with a design of a block and then a slab on top and then the pillars underneath it doesn't really matter what kind of design you use or anything as long as it's centered around one block Okay, so let's start by placing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 white quartz slabs. Skip a block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we go to the other side, do the same thing. On this side, 10 blocks, skip a block, 10 blocks on the top part of the slab as well and then the way I have my track design I have to break these slabs up here on the top to get it to look correct so we will go ahead and break these real quick just like that and then we're gonna place white concrete on top of all of these on top of the slabs and the track here to make sort of like a big platform. Then we're going to do that on both of them. Just like this. Now the next thing we're going to do is place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks it should be. Skipping the block at either end at the front just in white just like this and then we're going to place smooth quartz stairs or whatever quartz stairs you want on either side two of them going up on the block like this right now it doesn't look very good but that's okay we'll fix it later and we're gonna do that same thing on the other side just like that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the color or the block that you chose. I'm going with um I'm going with this with the cyan color so that, since we have warped doors which will match it very well. So anyways, we're going to place our eight blocks up on the top of this white here, make it look even more boxy and weird. Just like this. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some polished black stone to do this part. I am going to place that on the top. Eight blocks. Polished black stone slabs. Eight blocks on the other side. Place two in the center like that. And then place blocks along the center like that. So that way you get a shape that looks something like this. And then we are going to do that same thing on this one, eight blocks on both sides, two blocks in the center, and then a full block, and then a full block in the center. Okay, so the next thing, we are going to put our windows in. So we're going to place whatever color you picked your monorail to be, or if you just want to do these in regular glass you can as well and we're gonna place them diagonally going up in the stairs just like this okay so once you have your monorail looking like this with the window in the front next we are going to do the windows on the sides in cyan glass pans or whatever color you picked so we're gonna do this first block right here skip a block break two blocks like that skip a block, place another pan just like that, skip a block, and then break two blocks like that. Then we're going to do that on this side, skip a block, break two blocks, skip a block, place a window, skip a block, break two blocks, skip a block, place a window. We're going to do that on all four sides, just the same from the front. We're going to put one right here by the stair and the slab. Then we're going to put a hole, window, hole for the door. And it should be alternating from windows 
two doors. So we're gonna put a door, another window, another door, another window. Just like that. So you should have something that looks a lot more like a monorail now. And let's see here. So the next thing is we're gonna put our doors on it. So whatever color you picked, whatever door, door and trap door matches your color best. I would suggest picking a color based on like your trap door and door the selection in Minecraft, which there are quite a few now. Now the next thing we're gonna do when we go in, we're gonna place a door right on the edge here. So that way you have this block here, the window, and then this window here. And then we're going to place a quartz stair right there. Then we're going to go over to the other end of the monorail and do that exact same thing. Place the door right here. Place the little controls or whatever you want to call them, the stair right there. And then in here, we're going to place a door here on the outside of this block and then a door here on the outside of this block as well. Now, no matter what color you picked, we are going to do, we're going to get, we're going to get a dark oak trap door and we're going to get the mangrove trap door so that way we can make something that looks like a little thing to connect the two trains. Now the reason we need a mangrove trap door, which would be red technically, is so that way we can get this nice little window here. It can be smaller than the rest of the train and still look good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this design that I have here a little bit. I'm going to break this trap door right here, and I'm going to place a slab back in the center there for the track. And I'm going to place one of our dark oak trap doors on the top side of it like that so it's a little bit of a bump right there but if you have it parked in a station then you don't have to worry about that you can just get rid of that and put it lower down if you want oh we should also probably shut the door okay so the next thing you could put seats in here if you wanted to so you could just get some like whatever type of wood or whatever matches yours best. You could put seats in it, just like that. And you could do it however you want. But I prefer not to put the seats in it because without the seats in it, you can walk the whole way through the train. And I think that's sort of cool. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do, let's add some headlights to this thing. So, hmm, where are the item? Ah, here's the item frame. So we need an item frame. And we need some yellow concrete or some sort of a yellow block like that. And we're going to place item frames on either side at the front. And then the yellow lights on the front. Just like this. On either side. Okay, well, that's it finished, other than the door I missed right here. Okay, now it's finished. And if you wanted to, I guess you could add a car to it, which would be pretty simple. Yeah, you could add a car to it pretty simply. You could just, like, use the same sort of general design, except for, like, not put the front on. You could keep the strip going the whole way through. And then, yeah, just keep the strip going the whole way through then place it like that actually if you want to do a car you should probably make it nine blocks and not ten blocks so that way it's sort of even there we go it's back to the way it was well I think that's about it for this video this is another crafty sausage video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe too while you're at it Comment if you enjoyed this and want to see more like sort of cars and trucks and stuff being built. I mean, I do have a whole road over here still to fill up with cars. Anyway, oh, I almost forgot. This is a red version of the monorail, but you can see it actually like 
this is it in the station. It looks, I think it actually looks better in the station than like just on the track. But yeah, 